These past few months, Grandview students have participated in a tradition that predates color in pictures. The first senior photos were snapped in the 1880s, and the trend has not lost its popularity since. The majority of Grandview students choose to submit a senior photo, but not for all the same reasons. I did senior photos mostly because I don't really like how a lot of the school photos turn out, and I wanted to have more control over how my yearbook photo looked. So. Um, I did do senior photos. Um, I knew that it would be a requirement for the school at the end of the day, and also my parents were really excited to get good photos of me before I graduated. So, Senior photos can range from a few iPhone shots at the park to an hour-long photo shoot with a professional photographer. I did hire a professional to take the senior photos. It was not bad. It was a little awkward because we were taking pictures in public, but other than that, it was fine. Um, my experience was pretty good. We did hire a professional to take them. We did it like right at sunset hour, so it was a beautiful location. And it was a, honestly a very easy process. We were done in like 15 minutes. But you might not have to leave Grandview to find a professional photographer. We have a student here at Grandview who takes professional alternative photos for seniors. So uh, I started doing photography like my uh, freshman year here, but I didn't actually become serious about it until like sophomore year. So like four years, but more like three. I do senior pictures and I also do like grad pics. A lot of it is like, I like to go to like the city, like going to Denver and taking pictures of people there. And it'll be more of like, kind of like a fashion type thing. It's like I'll get like a message like, hey, I was thinking about doing some pictures. Like what are your rates? And then we'll kind of like discuss like what they're looking for, what kind, like how far we're planning on going, how long we're gonna be there. And then from there, once we have like sort of like a price going, we usually will end up making sort of like a Pinterest board Basically, so me and the like person I'm shooting are on like the same page of what they want. Yeah, we go there, we take the pictures, and usually afterward it's super fun. We'll usually go to like a cafe, like Starbucks or something, and we'll sit down and we'll go through the photos and just choose the ones that we like. It's kind of awkward when you first go and meet up with the people and stuff. They're like, you haven't met them yet. And then usually like once you get to that part, because you've gone through the entire like photo shoot and now you're sitting down, and usually it's where like people start to feel more comfortable. And so it's like kind of like a bonding experience, like you make friends doing it. When senior photos get sent in, our yearbook team at Grandview receives and sorts through them. Spearheading the program is Grandview's yearbook teacher, Mr. Varka. I've been in charge of senior photos for nine years. Actually, I'm not in charge of the senior photos. I overlook them. Uh, the students are the ones that organize all that and, and put it together. You can find all the requirements for them at ghschronicle.com under the senior photo tab. Uh, there's quite a bit there. Um, the main thing that we want is that we have a, a headshot of seniors in their kind of in their element and, and prefer them to be high quality, 300 DPI, that kind of thing. No selfies, no no point fives, <laughs> right? We want to. It's the seniors last year, uh, so we want to make sure we have just their beautiful visages on our um, in our book. Photographers everywhere have to keep up as portrait trends change. Each year comes with new backgrounds, poses, and editing styles. Yeah, so for like the current trends right now, I would say it's very much like sitting in front of like a very green background, like there's trees, there's like open land and stuff like typically like there's water involved in it and everything. It's like very American. Um, that's something the trend I see a lot, especially just like, cause I went through a lot of like the yearbooks like from the past too, trying to figure out what exactly people do for theirs. But then I was kind of like, that's not really what I want to focus on. I feel like a lot of people do that. And so mine is more for people who are more alternative and kind of want to get away from that look and want it to be more like authentic to them. The photos have been more colorful, but a little more vibrant. Uh, they're still pretty traditional. I mean, the classic by a tree shot or out in the field. But I've seen some kids recently like maybe head down to like the Rhino area or like the um, go around downtown and get some colorful photos around there. So that, that's a little new, but they're, they're still pretty traditional. They haven't changed much. Is it important? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's like your last chance in high school to kind of capture your personality. And I think the ID photos you guys take, you know. I, I don't know if you guys have ever taken this ID photo that you really enjoy. So this is kind of your chance to get a photo that's more you and not against like the blue background or against a wall or something like that. So it's a chance for Grandview students to have a bit of their personality in the book. No matter who takes the photos, senior pictures are an important tradition for both parents and students that won't be falling out of popularity anytime soon. This has been Ryan and Gwen signing off for GVTV.